Now, live from Studio 550, this is the McGraw Show on KTRS. All right, let's check the markets with uh, Scott Crothers and uh, Stephen Nicholas. Good morning, Scott Crothers from Stephen Nicholas. Good morning, McGraw. How did we finish up on Friday? Well, Friday the Dow was up 55 points. We closed at 21,007. Uh, good earnings and a strong employment report pushed the Dow to a new record high. The economy added 211,000 new jobs in April. That was much better than 180,000 expected, and a sure sign the economy is getting better. Uh, this was the con- third consecutive weekly gain for the Dow and, and the other major indexes. So pretty good week last week. All right, so we open up uh, with the Dow today over 21,000. Let's talk uh, Mallinckrodt. What are we hearing from them? Well, Mallinckrodt, especially pharmaceutical maker, reported earnings this morning. Uh, sales were $810.9 million, and they made a profit of $399.2 million, or 385 a share. Now, both numbers were better than expected, and Mallinckrodt guided higher for the year. So, mm-hmm. All right. there. Uh, Sinclair, rumored to be buying Tribune. What's the latest there? Exactly. Sinclair looks to be the winner of a bidding war for Tribune, and the deal is expected later this week. It looks like Sinclair will offer about $45 per share, a 10% premium to Friday's close for a total value of $4 billion. The combined company would own about 50% of the local televisions, local televisions, and by law they can only own about 39%, so some sales would have to happen. Yeah, and uh, closer to home, they'd own... If this were to go through, they would own um, Fox, WB11, as well as ABC30. So they'd own three of the four stations here in town, or three of the five stations in town. Yeah. So they would have to divest of one or two or whatever else. So uh, watch for that to be a local story here in town. And then uh, what about earnings season? How How are we doing for earnings season? Well, earnings season is about 80% over, and we've seen an increase of about 13.5% from last year's earnings. Now, this is the third consecutive quarter of increasing earnings, and we are seeing it across all sectors except telecom. We are also getting top-line growth of 7.6%, so companies are selling more and making more money. Uh, Two-thirds of the companies beat their earnings expectations. We expect earnings to grow about 7.5% next quarter. So great news from company earnings. All right. And then uh, what are we hearing about uh, the markets today? Are we going to stay over 21000 Well, right now they just look flat. Uh, we get a, a few more earnings, but economic calendar is relatively light today. Uh, we do hear from two Federal Reserve presidents today, including our own Jim Bullard. We will let you know what happens with that. All right. Scott Crothers with Stephen Nicholas. Uh, have yourself a good day. Thanks for the info. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Sounds great. Thank you, bro. 643.